Hey folks, welcome back to Tractor Tales. This week we're off to Iowa to check out a Massey 135 that's a real workhorse on the farm. I'm not sure exactly when my grandpa bought this one, but I'm pretty sure he's had it since it was pretty much brand new. And I'm not sure if he bought it with a loader on it or if that's something they bought and added, added on themselves, but it's been a workhorse its whole life. It's got the four cylinder gas in it. It's got a little bit of a miss, needs some motor work, still does the job. So that's really the important thing. It's hauled a lot of manure over the years, it's hauled a lot of trees over the years too. It's been a damn good tractor. Remember as a kid with this one, uh, riding around and he'd raise, sit in the bucket and he'd raise the bucket up as high as it'd go and lower it back down and that was always a good time so I definitely remember that so I've got a picture from when I was real little sitting on grandpa's lap and you know just riding around with him that's whenever we go to grandma and grandpa's house that's one thing we always did is to just ride around on his lap on tractors. <laughs> grandpa passed away and it, it sat in the machine shed for quite a few years and I think about three years ago, I asked my grandma about it, if I could have it, and, and she said, well, yeah, you can probably have it. It's rightfully yours. Thanks, Greg. Well, the high heat earlier this week was another reminder of how brutal the temps were in the Western Corn Belt this summer. But students and researchers are teaming up here at Iowa State to create an environment to explore heat-tolerant soybeans. We'll show you how it's being done next. <laughs> 